Dear Leo, this is a general reading for the week of March 28th through April 3rd, 2022. We're going to be taking a look at a story that is coming to an end for you. The beginning of your new story and a theme in that story that is coming up in the future. On April 1st, there is a new moon in Aries, which for you, Leo, will affect your ninth house of spirituality, religion, philosophy, basically your ideologies and um, beliefs, perspectives. Um, it also applies to higher learning. So we'll see if there is uh, a new beginning in your ninth house that is showing up in this reading. So what you have here in terms of the story that is coming to an end, you have Live Oak. Longevity, reliability. So this card kind of talks about these, um, these trees, these Live Oak trees, and the deep roots that it has, um, and that basically it is can provide shelter um, and that's why there's this concept of reliability um, it basically kind of talks about the branches kind of having some twists and turns in it and it kind of um, it's an analogy for your journey like a long long journey you have. Um, it also kind of asks the question of whether or not um, those in your life are reliable and kind of calls that into question. So we'll take a look at what that has to do with your ending story. In terms of the new story that's beginning for you, you have expansion. Spread your wings and soar. Share your message and shine your light. Show the world what you're made of. So this kind of indicates um, that you have a message that is worth sharing, that needs to be heard. And that, you know, up until now, you aren't really using your voice to the extent you could. And in terms of upcoming themes in that story, you have Wondrous Universe. Walk in Beauty. So, Winter's Universe here, it's basically kind of talking about the connection of everything in the universe um, and all the potential, um, I guess, wishes that can be granted, miracles. I mean, it's um, abundance, it's endless supply. And so that basically um, the theme for you seems to be question. I, I really do wonder if it's kind of questioning those that have been reliable, but definitely um, kind of expansion and exploration. So let's take a look at this story that's coming to an end, this live oak story. So let's see why it's coming to an end. You have Knight of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, and Two of Cups. So for some of you, it's 
seems like this could be um, a relationship that has kind of two people who have no ill intentions, um, but really are on different journeys. Um, the Knight of Pentacles, it is kind of the long, um, slow building of your future, building of, of finances, security, but that individual is someone who is reliable, who is dependable, um, and really puts in the work, kind of when no one else really wants to. The Nine of Cups, it is about wishes granted. So um, it's also about self-happiness and the Two of Cups, um, you know, relationships. So basically I'm kind of seeing for some, it's maybe this is um, a relationship that's kind of naturally come to an end. You have the Ten of Pentacles here. So it could also apply for some of you like communities. What I mean by that, this could be like um, um, a job that you've worked at for many years or um, this could be a religious organization. It could be um, educational institution. So basically, it's if it's not separation of a couple or business partners, it's a, um, your separation from a, a certain community that's help prepare you for this journey. So let's take a look at the the concept of longevity here. We have the tower. And let's look at the concept of reliability. You have the King of Wands, Leo, that is hot fire leadership, visionary leader. And with the tower, it's, um, it is a concept of, um, interestingly, this has like little animals under the tree that were uh, seeking shelter before the lightning came and struck it down. Um, so I thought that was interesting. Um, so I'm thinking what it has to do is with this being the, the longevity is that basically whatever, you know, was built in this past story, um, I'm not thinking that it was actually built on false beliefs. I think it was built on a very, um, superficial idea of, uh, superficial might not be the accurate word. Um, mm, it wasn't long-term. It was reliable for at the time. But in terms of the reliability, the King of, King of Wands um, is a vision, visionary leader. And that individual, I'm not sure if that person is unreliable, but more is constantly pursuing their passion and there's not a necessarily a limit to it. Um, there's almost not an end goal. It might evolve, it might switch, visions, but it's definitely, it's not like the Knight of Pentacles that really kind of is all about step by step and very 
calculating and what they do next. The King of Wands is very much um, driven by something greater. So let's see here. Let's see how this next, this beginning of expansion story kind of begins. Well, beginning with stories. So let's see how it opens. You have a seven of swords. Seven of wands. I'm hoping for another seven, so there's a jackpot. Mm, six of cups. Okay. Almost. All right. So with this, it's almost um, the seven of swords is kind of doing things undercover. Seven of wands is about standing your ground and having an inner conviction that you are afraid to let everyone know about. So in a way, those two kind of conflict a little bit, but they're similar in that they have to do with tests of your will and um, examination of, of your abilities. With the Six of Cups, it's a sense of nostalgia, but also um, harmony and balance. So this kind of seems to say that there is, um, there's something that you have known or felt or believed since you were a child and it's almost as if you've been wanting to kind of pursue this and also not wanting to admit it to yourself almost. So let's take a look at because it says show the world what you're made of. Let's see why you weren't showing the world what what you're made of. You have Queen of Swords. So definitely a sense of you reasoned it. You were going with, um, you wanted to protect. You wanted to be um, independent. And you kind of were didn't really want to wear your heart on your sleeve. King of Wands is all about pursuing passion. The Queen of Swords is, you know, keeping that passion kind of hidden, not um, guarded, and using reason and logic to kind of know when to pull that out. So let's see what considerations were made by the Queen of Swords here in not really showing the world what they're made of. You have the King of Pentacles. So it could be um, a mentor. It could be a parent figure that really um, kind of taught or maybe not directly, but demonstrated how hard work, um, doing things that um, were kind of main, mainstream, reliable, um, standard, um, bland type of things to get an honest day's pay you can build up security, um, material wealth, and you know, kind of one day have the ability to take care of yourself, family, community, and things like that. And it's um, that individual, I think, is kind of um, may have looked down on this. Kind of idea of pursuing passions um, but 
It could also just be the idea of, um, you know, wanting to follow in those footsteps slightly. So let's take a look at what the Queen of Swords here learned from the King of Pentacles that's kind of been blocking this um, King of Wands energy here. Three of Wands. Okay, so I'm almost <clears throat> not sure if it was just like that this passion because I'm, I'm kind of seeing that this King of Wands, these characteristics of being a visionary leader, being following your passion, things like that. Um, that is that and the Nine of Cups. That's you, Leo. That's what I, I kind of feel is your, your goal for yourself. And this Three of Wands is kind of um, part of that journey. And I'm thinking that whoever the King of Pens Pentacles is in your life probably somehow conveyed that pursuing passions, pursuing unknowns was really even harder work than doing a hard day's work. A, you know, nine to five type of job or, you know, a manual labor type of job. Those weren't as hard as risking everything, you know, preparing for following your heart and then possibly not have it amount to anything. It might not have been explicitly said, it, um, but let's see what kind of feel, what was picked up by the Queen of Swords in this kind of, um, about it. So it might have just, it could be like, oh, scary world, or you could have your heart broken, um, or it's just like, oh, you'd have to leave home, and you don't want to leave home. So let's see what was kind of impressed upon the Queen of Swords in you. You have the star. So kind of like it's a nice dream to have. It's nice to hope for. Um, it's kind of um, maybe only certain people will ever reach that type of potential. So it kind of makes me think of that 80s, 80s show Star Search, which is kind of like you just go on TV and do your talent. Um, and basically I'm kind of sensing that it wasn't, there definitely was affection and good intentions in that kind of relationship. Um, but, and it's almost making me wonder if the Knight of Pentacles is in some way, um, a version of you where you were trying to follow in the King of Pentacles footsteps and that really um, you're starting to kind of like the you know big bends in these branches here bending into a different direction where you more want to be fulfilled with your life and the people you're around and that a huge part of it has to do with what you pursue as a career and to, you know, money um, to enjoy that community around you. So let's see here. So an upcoming theme in your story of expansion. Um, let's see here. It says wondrous universe, walk in beauty. So let's see how this new story of expansion kind of incorporates this wondrous universe theme. You have the lover's card. You have the hanging man. It's been showing up a lot. And you have the Knight of Swords. 
So with the lovers, um, it's, you know, it can be romantic love, it could be business partnerships, but I'm seeing this as, you know, affecting your um, desire to connect to anything. So a person, um, a job, a career, a new home, a new apartment, but really wanting to commit to something in the long term, but also have that sense of like passion for it. With the hanged man, I am kind of seeing um, a kind of withdrawal a little bit from, from other people. Slightly like a hermit situation, but more just um, not trying to be like other people. Like you're not like pursuing your goal and not wanting to follow other people's footsteps. Almost as if you're um, kind of trying to take your, your, um, the mainstream out of it or uh, like social media even, um, and just withdrawing from the larger society for a bit so that you can kind of figure out your goals and um, without a sense of um, too much ego being involved in it and being in a place where you're willing to make those changes that you need to make. So if you have to let go of something, you're willing to let go of it um, or that you're in a place where you can let go of it to allow more, um, I guess, fulfilling things and things that will help you reach your um, best and highest good. And with the Knight of Swords, it is a, a little bit less kind of rigid than the Queen of Swords. Definitely still wanting to pursue truth, um, but also having, uh, being eager about the potential here. So let's kind of see here. There's this thing about your message and shining your light. Star shines the light too. So um, let's kind of see how this new beginning, this theme kind of interact on those terms of sharing your message. You have the Four of Pentacles and then the Shining Light, Six of Swords. So it's almost your message has to do with sense of security and self and um, building identity of who you are. Um, and in terms of uh, shining your light, it's almost a assistance in making a transition from a place, leaving someplace and having one foot on either shore. So you're, yeah, it, it really kind of has to do with being independent. And I wouldn't be surprised if this next card is like the Page of Wands or something. Kind of expressing yourself and needing to um, kind of explore explore the, this wondrous universe. So let's see here. Let's see what is the next step. Oh, you have the Nine of Swords. Interesting. That. Was a surprise. Um, so for some people here, it's almost as if this um, this expansion, using your voice, shining your light, 
it might even have to do with people who are um, struggling with identity crisis, um, possibly even uh, self-esteem, mental health issues. And maybe having, seeing how they can like support themselves, how they can continue healing. Um, let's see what else about this wondrous universe theme. And you have the hermit. Interesting. So I'm not seeing like the nine of swords and the six of swords or the four of pentacles as you per se. It's almost as if this is part of your walking in beauty, this theme of expansion and sharing your voice. It's almost to help people that are in situations that you feel for, um, that these people who don't have a sense of security, don't have a sense of who they are, helping them find their way there and um, kind of sharing your life, your life experience um, with them so it can help. So, and then let's see here. Um, it's almost as if this is opening up to pursuing the thing that you wanted to pursue or have been wanting to pursue. So let's see here, what kind of um, almost end result or um, end results kind of, that's a big jump. Let's see here, once you can get to this, this theme of helping these people and pursuing that king of wands and tree. Then what? What's around that corner? You have the empress. So it's really a sense of having this big vision to inspire other people to be their best selves and where they can have what they want. They can feel confident. Um, they can kind of be as abundant, as creative as they need to be. And it really does start with a sense of self security. Um, their perspectives on who they are, where they are in life, um, and where they're not, but almost helping people see the potential that they have in themselves. And in you doing this, it will really put you in that position of um, having everything you want. Um, having, you know, this, this three of wands, preparing for this success that you want in life and really having it and being a source of it for others. So it seems pretty cool. Anyway, I'm hoping this provides a helpful perspective of the week to get a clearer picture of things. Be sure to check out the readings for your sun, moon, and rising signs. We'll see you next time. Take care.